you're rationalizing. You are spinning this to say what you wanted to say. How beautiful and how wonderful it was that Jesus, through his life, death, resurrection, saved us all. What you're ignoring is that what it tells us is that your God is not always benevolent. In the past, he was angry and vengeful. That's not omnibenevolence. What it tells us is that he created this system knowing ahead of time what was going to happen, specifically created knowing that people would sin and fall away. And he thinks that it's just to punish one person for the sins of another, that the sins of the father should carry on to the son, that we are all responsible for original sin. Those are all immoral principles. Then what he does is he comes out and says, hmm, I've created this situation where I've turned everybody into sinners. So he sacrifices himself to himself to act as a loophole for a rule that he made himself instead of just forgetting, instead of just forgiving. It's an absolutely absurd and obscene and immoral philosophy. You can't just say, oh, that was Old Testament and now we're on to the new. Um, and by the way, there are problems in the New Testament as well. Uh, I've done, a, done an entire dissertation on the uh, uh, Sermon on the Mount that goes word for word. You, can't, it, you can say all day long that Jesus came out of love, but you're ignoring the ideas of original sin. You're ignoring the idea of an unchanging God. You're ignoring the moral code that Jesus himself supposedly said wouldn't change. And you're doing it all so that you can believe what you want to believe, so that you can focus on the positive bits, the turn the other cheek, and not the eye for an eye. You are picking and choosing, and you can make the Bible by picking and choosing verses. Say whatever it is that you believe, want to say. I believe the whole context of the Bible from the beginning to the end. You just demonstrated that you don't. Now, you... Do you like to hear yourself talk? I so do. Nobody can really demonstrate anything to you because you like to argue, as most atheists seem to really like to argue. No. And it, I really... Hang on, hang on. I will get back to you, and you can talk, I swear. There's one thing you've got to understand. All I'm asking is for you to demonstrate the truth of what you're saying, not simply assert that it's true, not claim that I don't understand because God hasn't given me a gift. Demonstrate the truth of what you're saying faith yourself right what see you say what because you were talking when i took you off hold yeah well you've been having me on hold so that you could hear yourself talk yes yeah, and so try to convince yourself that there's no god and you know you're doing your thing up there and really i don't understand why you open the lines up when you really don't want to hear what your callers are trying to say no that's to you. not it i what i want is I, I really wish we could come to understand about this if you can demonstrate that what you say is true, I'm perfectly open All right, to it. Well, let me ask you a question. Do you think that you sin? Do you think that you commit evil, immoral acts? Do I think that I've done things which are wrong? Sure. Okay. And, and what are you going to do about that? I mean, do you have any... I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm not going to expect some divine intervention to blanket forgive me from that. Because if I've done wrong to another person, the correct course of action is to apologize and make amends to that person and not blow it all off and hope that some God is going to just forgive me and make it all go away. That sort of mentality allows people to not treat people in a way that is good. If I believe I only have one shot at life and one chance, then I treat people better than... Is that than what you believe? Yes. One shot? Yes. When I'm dead, it's over. Okay, so you're born... You die, you, you're born, you live life, you do crummy things, and then you die. And that's, no, that's no, your that's, life? What I, that's, that's not it. You're born, you live life, you may or may not do crummy things. You, may then, not, you know anybody that has not done a crummy thing? No. Okay. But what I'm, you, you, all right, your phrasing was you're born, you live, you do crummy things, you die. That's your take on what the li well, your no, life is No, about. that's your take on your his take life. Your take on it. I'm saying that... You're born, you live, you do some good things, you do some bad things, and you try to make sure that the good things that you do um, outweigh the bad Why? things that you do. What do you care and, if you only got one life and no, no God is, is involved? Just so, do whatever you want, right? Because there are six so billion wait, other people on this earth who I am accountable for. Too. You think that if, if you don't believe in a God, you should just go ahead and do whatever Where they do want? Where do you get a moral compass from if you don't have a God? Why do you think a moral code has to come from a God? And what makes it moral? If God says tomorrow that murder is correct, does that make it correct? 
God's not going to say that. How do you know? How do you know? Because I know the living God. Oh, and you've judged him to be good, right? He's a good God. And you think he's good? I know he's good. Okay. What basis are you using to judge that he's good? 50 years of, you know, half my life. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I'm not talking about experience. I guarantee that God I know is a good God. And the last 25 years I've lived... What basis to are you using to say that he's good? He you is have a supernatural you, God, and I experience him in supernatural ways on a daily basis. Well, um, I, I guess logical, you're going to have you logical guys. Yes, you, we logical guys who aren't going to rely on faith and aren't going to waste any more time on this. When I ask you what basis you have for determining that your God is good, you completely miss the point and just talk about experience. You can't demonstrate anything you're talking about. You don't rely on reason. You're just going to believe things because you want to believe them. And we're out of time. Next week we'll be on again. For